Welcome back to my channel. If you are new in my YouTube channel, I would like to invite you to subscribe and hit the bell button icon too for more next coming videos. What is a SIM registration? The SIM register refers to the secure digital database containing the required information for registered postpaid and prepaid subscribers. All existing SIMs will have to be registered within 180 days from the effectivity of the Act, the implementing rules and regulations of the SIM Registration Act is released on December 12, 2022. This will be followed by the law's effectivity and start of registration on December 27, 2022, and will end on April 26, 2023. The law also allowed to extend the registration for a period not exceeding 120 days. Failure to register your SIM card within the allotted period will result in automatic deactivation. On December 27, 2022, start new SIMs will be sold in deactivated mode. Additionally, other than regular SIMs, embedded SIMs, broadband modem, and Internet of Things devices must also be registered too. How to register your SIM card in Philippines? To register your SIM card, you must duly accomplish a control numbered electronic registration form requires your full name date of birth sex address and also ask for the assigned sim number with its serial number in additional the form may be found on a platform or website of respective where users must declare those documents presented are true and correct and that they are the same person who accomplished the form what are those requirements to register your SIM card in Philippines? To verify the identity of the user, they are required to present valid, government-issued identification, cards or documents with their photo. Any of the following can be Passport Philippine Identification Social Security Service ID Government Service Insurance System e-card own firearms license and possess id national bureau of investigation clearance driver's license police clearance integrated bar of the philippines id unified multi-purpose identification card bureau of internal revenue id professional regulation commission id bureau of internal revenue id Overseas Workers Welfare Administration ID Senior Citizens Card Voters ID Person with Disabilities Card and Other Government Issued ID with Photo For Minor Age SIM Card Registration SIM can be registered for minors, but it shall be under the name of their parents or guardians who gave their consent and also registered to for foreign nationals and tourist SIM card registration. For foreign nationals staying as tourists for less than 30 days, must register their name, nationality, passport number, and address in the Philippines. Being tourists must present their passport, proof of address in the Philippines, as well as return ticket to their own country or any other ticket, which shows the date and time of their departure from the Philippines, for foreign nationals with other types of visas and staying for more than 30 days, they must required to present the following passport, alien certificate of registration ID, school registration ID for students or other pertinent documents, alien employment permit issued by the Department of Labor and Employment, proof of address in the Philippines. Their registered SIMs only valid for 30 days and shall be automatically deactivated upon expiration of validity. SIM card registration for postpaid 
user or subscribers. Users are only required to confirm their information needed in the SIM registration through the Telco's platform or website. SIM card registration for corporations. Corporations also needed registered SIM card for their day-to-day -day business. The requirements are the following. Certificate of registration. Special power of attorney for the registration of SIM, other juridical entities. A duly adopted resolution designating their duly authorized representative. SIM card registration in remote areas. For those in remote areas with limited internet connectivity, the Department of Information and Communications Technology, National Telecommunications Company, Department of the Interior, and local government and Department of Education including telcos will be help for SIM registration and also wait for the new update topic in your local areas. What about the penalties for false information and fraudulent IDs used for registration? The law states for those who provide false information or use fraudulent IDs during registration will face the penalty of imprisonment from six months to two years plus a fine of up to 300,000 Philippine pesos. For those who spoof a registered SIM or sell a stolen SIM will face the same punishment. The sale or transfer of a registered SIM without compliance with the required registration process will also face penalties, including imprisonment and fines too. I hope this important information about SIM cards registration will help you. Don't forget to give a like, subscribe and click the bell button icon for more coming videos. Thank you for watching and once again see you on my next video.